Hi guys, in this video, we'll be talking about respiration and why is respiration important? We'll also be discussing aerobic respiration. And finally, a summary. Respiration transfers energy to the cell. This is so you can do things like walk and talk. However, don't get respiration confused with breathing in and out. This is called ventilation. So what is respiration? Well, respiration is a process that happens continuously in all living cells. Cells are constantly supplied with energy. Cells are even supplied with energy when you are sleeping. This enables it to keep your heart beating and to stay warm. We call respiration exothermic. And this is because energy is released to the environment when respiration takes place. As respiration takes place constantly, your body is also constantly transferring energy to the environment, mostly in the form of heat. There are actually two types of respiration, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. The main difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration is that aerobic respiration uses oxygen. Anaerobic respiration doesn't use any oxygen. However, one similarity is that they are both catalyzed by enzymes. Both of these reactions need to break down glucose to get energy. And this is done with specific enzymes. In cellular respiration, organisms use the breakdown of organic compounds, as I said before, like glucose, to fuel metabolic processes. What do I mean by metabolic processes? Well, metabolic processes are the necessary chemical reactions in living organisms. This glucose is broken down. The energy released is used for basic life processes. Some of these processes include enabling organisms to grow, keeping their heart beating, and enabling them to move around. Now let's look at some more processes that involve the energy from respiration. Well, organisms build up or synthesize larger molecules from small ones, and this includes starch from glucose. Lots of these glucose molecules shown here are joined together to form starch. This process requires specific enzymes. Energy from respiration is also used to contract muscles, and this means that organisms can move about. Another use is to use energy to keep our body temperature at a constant level. If our body temperature is too high or low, it can harm the organism. If the temperature drops, organisms then increase their rate of respiration. And this is to maintain a constant temperature as respiration transfers energy by heating. So we know that aerobic respiration is important, but how does it work? Well, aerobic respiration uses oxygen and glucose. It takes place in the mitochondria. Mitochondria are present in our cells as subcellular structures. The actual reaction that takes place is glucose plus oxygen going to carbon dioxide and water. You'll also need to know the chemical equation, and this can be written as C6H12O6, which stands for glucose, plus O2, which stands for oxygen. There are six of these oxygen molecules to every one glucose molecule. This goes to six carbon dioxide molecules written as six CO2, and it goes to six water molecules written as six H2O. Our body uses aerobic respiration because it's the most efficient way to transfer the energy from glucose. We get our glucose molecules from food. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.